not enough energy. Ready for dust off. Mineral field depleted. What's that? SCV ready. Ah! SCV ready. You're the boss. SCV ready. God. Wait, now what? Research complete. Ready for dust off. Upgrade complete. Let's go. SCV ready. SCV ready. Let it work. Not enough energy. SCV ready. Not enough energy. Depleted. That's fine. Additional supply depots required. Let's do it. Life flights here. Made for battle. Additional supply depots required. Additional supply depots required. Additional supply depots required. By the numbers, boys. Armed and ready. SCV ready. We can use some help here. Ten more. Systems Add on. Go, go, go! SCV ready. Fighter ready for pickup.
Not enough minerals. Gangway. Not enough minerals. Transformation systems primed. Uh, this better be good. Ready to plunder. Additional supply depots required. Additional supply depots required. GG. We yeah, play safe. I don't know. You're just way better than me anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know about that. I think it's just like the opening kind of hurts you a lot. Like Thor drops TBT. It's like, if you get your like dropship sniped or something, like, don't you feel like really far behind? Um, well, the way that I look at it is if you win, sometimes you win outright, like you just win. And at least from my, at my level. What I'm, what builds do that does that counter besides like two factalion? Uh, it counters the whatever guy the guy who opens blue flames. Mm -hmm. uh, I I don't know I I've, I've countered it against pretty much everything, but the thing is is like yes you have to keep the Thor alive, that's a key. And if they open mm -hmm. Viking, I think if they open Viking or get a fast Viking like you did, then it's terrible. <laughs> but I usually like kill a bunch of SCVs and then I run my Thor away and I I have a Thor. And also the reason I go Thor is because I get a fast plus one at the armory for my tanks and I'll kill other tanks in one less shot. So my goal mm -hmm. is to like transition out of it into tanks, but I don't know, it's it's just my my thing. I don't hmm. know. It's, maybe it's not very good, but I just open it. Well, I think I still I think there might be a better way to go about it. Maybe like a more economic opening into a Thor drop, maybe. Because mm -hmm. um, like let's let's load up the replay. Let me show you what I mean. Because I didn't go fast Viking at all. Like that was pretty much the exact opposite of what you call a fast Viking. Um, actually, I wasn't even even after I scouted, I still went um, medevac before Viking for some reason. Like I don't really know the reason behind it because I was thinking for some reason that. Um, I don't know. I was thinking maybe you might be trying to shuffle, shuttle like all your army, or maybe do like a you know eight marine Thor drop or something like that. Mm. So my marines would play a bigger role, but in fact just did a one Thor drop. Okay, so tell me when you got it. I I'm up. All right, times four, three, two, one, play. I I didn't really play well this game anyway. Like uh, I don't know. I think it's maybe it's because I'm on Skype. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be. Like, yeah, that messes uh, a lot of people up. A lot of people can't play and talk at the same time. Well, I wasn't really talking, but like, I don't know. Yeah. I was like trying to remember what I even do for a normal build. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, TBT is actually. I know what you mean by like you say you really don't like it. That's how I was with TBT, but now, now I kind of just I had to force myself to really just love it. So now I'm just I play it all the time, but. Um, I still don't like it. Like, I don't ever practice it other than ladder. But see, I, I just went, like, one marine expand mm -hmm. into, into like, a, like, a factory starport type opening. So it was, like, nowhere near a, uh, a fast, you know, Viking or anything to counter this. Okay. Well, I, reason. I guess what I'm saying is most people at my level, <laughs> they don't get Vikings for some reason. Like, at all? Like, even after they see... I mean, yeah. like they open up like some banshee crap or a blue flame oh. drop, but they don't have a viking. Mm. I don't know. I, maybe they're just. Bad. I could see that. I'm yeah, I could see that working then. I'm not very good. So I mean, I just see like I'm just building my viking now, and yeah, your drop did a lot because I didn't see it going around. And that caught me off guard. But it's like I still had because of my opening. Like, I still have, An like, a better, yeah, the advantage kind of thing. I already have my expansion going. 
Um, I already have, like, you know, mules going at both bases. I'm able to reproduce any economy that I lost really quickly. This is my standard build nowadays. I think, TBT. I think that I would like to open, like, with a build like yours. But the thing is, is, like, I just... I don't know, I guess I just do a gimmick play because I'm so... I just don't like playing it. I don't know. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, I understand. Well, see, I don't like the turtle fests. Like, we're... The map split. Everybody has like siege tanks across it and stuff. Mm -hmm. Susan, I play like really, like really different. You know, like I, I try to be really aggressive. Like even here, I'm trying to be aggressive. You know. Yeah, you just, you just are. Uh, like I also don't know when to expand it. I just, I'm just not very good at it. It's not practice. Uh, I think I give you. Yeah. Okay. Well, it is a third of the matchups you're gonna play. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I didn't. I didn't start getting it very much in ladder until recently. Like recently, I just I've got so much TVT. Yeah, you're actually going to get it more and more the higher you get in the masters. I find there's I get probably 50 percent Terran okay. at the, the top masters. It's like, you know, I get a lot of it. But TVT is all about just like mass expanding. I mean, you mass expand, you build an army. Like. You kind of overexpand too. It's like I don't know if I could hold all these bases if you went and attacked them or something. You know, I might lose one or might have to lift off or something. But the thing about TVT is like if you go to defend one base, then you're really vulnerable to be counterattacked and stuff like that. Which it's not worth it. You know, killing a Terran expansion and then losing your whole main supplies and everything else is just not worth it. You know, mm -hmm. it's reason overexpanding is actually beneficial in TVT where it's not in the other matchups. So, do you normally get battle cruisers, or is it just? I don't normally, but I will play. I do play the factory or starport thing, and it just depends on what I see. But I saw that you were just making a lot of tanks, you know, like two fact. I already saw two factories, and so I know that battle cruisers will counter that whole aspect. You know, you'll be investing into stuff that really isn't going to pay that much, or be that beneficial, you know. And one thing that a lot of Terran players don't do is make mass orbitals late game. Like anytime you have a lot of economy and you're you know, you're max, you have all this extra income, you should always make extra orbitals. Yeah, because that'll help you always to keep ahead. I you know? I scanned you at the bottom left and I saw a bunch of them. Yeah. So it's not necessarily you have to go battle cruisers, just depending on what you see. Like I still I I have tons of replays where I pretty much just play like Hellion tank, Banshee Viking or something. And it'll be like, you know, if I see Maybe I need to control. He's making less marines and more, you know, more tanks. And I'll I'll stay more towards the air side of things, to where if he's making a lot of marines and not as many tanks, I'll stay near the tank hellion side of things. So it kind of it's it's a it's a style that I like playing because it's very you know, um, you you can mix it up a lot depending on what you see. So it's not like you're set to one thing. Like when you play a marine tank, guess what? You're gonna make that entire game, marine tank. You know, you're gonna get upgrades and make marines and make tanks. I noticed, uh, like, are you, are when you're playing your your you know practice people, are you playing like not as hard as you can? Or, uh, you mean like versus you? Yeah. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Um, not necessarily not as hard as I can. I mean, I still play, like, these are like my standard openings and like my good builds and stuff. Well, I'm like looking at your APM and I'm like. Oh, my APM is garbage, but it's always that's like, that's my APM like current through everything. You're like just, I am not a fast player. You're just a very accurate. Yep. I just I just use. I'm actually a, just a smart player, really. Like I I really understand the game and I really understand like how to take advantage of different situations and stuff. Uh, more so than being fast. Like I am not a fast player at all. The exact opposite of that. I'm just you know consistent throughout the game with like you know hundred. To 120, something like that. But yeah, um, <laughs> I'm not the the machine spammer. Can't I can't make myself spam in this game? I don't know why. I guess I just don't find enough stuff I need to do or something. I just got early, but no, I don't spam early. Yeah, like your APM is like 